hello everyone welcome to our another tutorial in this tutorial we will show you how to install conditional field on contact form 7 so before moving forward let me show you an example how what we will show you in this um, tutorial so this is a conditional form so so as you see on the top, see if I'm writing John Doe, it should show a field. So as you see, this field is now show. And if I don't add this field, then it's not showing. Similarly, if I select yes, so this field will show. If I select no, then this field is showing. So same for radio buttons and checkbox. So as you see, if I'm selecting option two, it's showing this. If I'm selecting option three, it's showing this. So this is a conditional form field, meaning that if a particular field will show based on the conditions you select on the back end. Now to do that, yeah, let's go to our WordPress dashboard and let me install contact form seven first and we need to scroll down and install our ultimate add-ons for control form 7 plugin now you need to go to ultimate add-on settings and enable conditional field now click save now let's create a form by clicking add new here and naming this from conditional field so we and uh, let me save this now we have these fields your name email subject and message so let's say for example if on the demo let's start with the text field so if someone writing John Doe, it will show this drop down field, right? So let me just first add a drop down field here. So yes, no. And So the field name is how oh, how older are you older than eighteen? Okay. Now this let's wrap this with uh, condition. So we are going to name this. Um, let's say your name condition. So we need we added this wrapper and then we close this wrapper. Now let's save. So I will go one by one. Let me show you how this one would work. And that would be the basic uh, options for all of them. So I need to, we don't need to go to the conditional field tab and click add new rule. So here the option show or hide. So show your name condition. So this field will show if any or all. So any means any so if I am adding multiple conditions here so any of this condition if it's met then this will show and if I select all that means all of these conditions should be filled up to show this form so let me just for this for simplicity just add any and so field is your name equals to yes so no sorry it would be John Doe so if someone writes John Doe, then this field will show. Now let me say. Now let's publish this form somewhere. So conditional form. Now if I am going to the preview field, and if I am writing John Doe here, so as you see, this field is now showing. And if I am not writing this, this field is not showing and let's say i'm adding i want to add if another condition within the same field 
so no so let me add another condition here so if someone writes your name as abul do then also this will work so now if i was i also write abul do it will show so now i added two conditions so if one of these condition is met this form field will show so this is the basic setup of all the fields you want to add now let's let me show you an example for drop down menu so So this is, do you have any physical fields? And so this is one drop down menu and the condition is if someone selects yes, then this will show. And if someone selects no, then this will show. So for the yes, this is a text field. So let me add a text field here. And the other text field is also insert your now let's wrap these fields with label. Just know that these labels are not uh, mandatory. I'm just adding this for the sake of uh, good form. And you can also rename these for the good identification. So this is insert address. This is insert alternate address. Now, as we have two conditions here for yes and no, we have to wrap these two separately. So the wrapper of this one, insert address and the wrapper of so wrapper close and the wrapper for this one is you can also name this insert alter it you can name this as you want i'm adding this for clear identification now let's save this now let's go back to our settings add a new rule so show insert address if okay let me rename this one so it's a physical address so now insert show insert address show physical address equals to yes and if someone in this field will show if physical address is no so now if if someone select physical address as yes this will show if someone select physical address as no, then this will show. Let me save. Now, um, let me just wrap this as an So now if I'm selecting yes, so this field is showing. If I'm selecting no, then this field is showing. So that's for the drop down menu. Let's now add a what's next radio buttons. So let's add a I'm removing these fields, so I don't need them. So I'm adding a radio button here. So it's option one, option two, option three. (coughs) 
now let's add our conditions so i'm adding i'm just showing one for now so let me add a text box and name it option three And now we have to wrap this with a condition tag. Now let's come here, show, show option three, if uh, radio 763 is equals to option three. So I have option one, option two, and I have selected option three. So now this option is showing. Let's show a checkbox now. So let's, um, so for checkbox, create a checkbox, so, Same option I am adding here, option 1, option 2, option 3, um, let me just copy this one, option 3 checkbox. Now, so it's sorry, I should change. So we have the same conditional name for both. We need to change this. <coughs> so it's option three course, it's checkbox equals to option three. Now let's reload. So option one, option two, option three, not working. Oh, so we made a mistake here. It should be checkbox 763. So now, as you see, option 3 is selected, so it's showing. Option 2 not showing, option 1 not showing. Now, let me show you an example how the all option works. So if all so checkbox 763 is option two. So what would happen now is basically if someone for the conditional field to show one app has to select both the options. So if I'm selecting option three, it's not working. So option two selects, now it's working, but option two not working. So that's how it uh, all option works. So if we select all, both of these conditions should be met. If I select any, then either option two or option three, both of these work fine. So that's how you can create uh, conditional fields within contract form seven. Um, let us know in the comments if you have any questions. Thank you.